bloody good at this, aren't I? Yeah. I'm really chuffed for that picture. That's yeah, it's nice. The only the only issue I've got with it now is, of course, it was now it's not. It was round the wrong way. <laughs> Mirror it. Oh, is it? It isn't now, but it was. Oh right, okay. That's how it should be, it's like that. No right. Joyce can't make it today. She's been up all night, she said, with um with, um tummy bug thingy. Oh dear. She says, hope it's not the um either something she's eaten or um uh -huh. the the jab. She must have had the jab recently. Oh, right. So fingers crossed for her. Yeah, that should be better soon. Bloody. We got another problem. We got bugs <gasps> running around. Did Terry tell you he was threatening to come then, did he? I, told, <laughs> I said to him it's about time we were missing him. And um, he said he was going to try this week. <laughs> That was funny, that was. Because I, I sent my email out relatively early and I thought, I did it on purpose so that I sent him a separate one mm. saying, look, if you want to buy a ticket, here's where you go, just in case. Yeah. And uh, blow me, five minutes later, I get a phone call <laughs> saying, my email's, I've got to go and see Tesco's. I've got to go around and see them. My email don't work. Oh, right, blah, blah, right. blah, blah, and all the rest of it. It says it's not a valid email. And I said, yeah, it does work. Because I get emails from you, and I send emails to you. Mm. I said, what are you typing in? And the first thing he said was a capital T. Well, oh, right, yeah. Emails yeah. don't work with capitals, full stop. No, they um, don't. And then did I sorted that out. Okay, I'll ring you back and try again. He rang back five minutes later saying that won't work him and i said well, it is your email because i've tried to log in and buy a ticket using that email myself and it works fine yeah and um it turns out it yeah it's terence all lowercase muzzin dot gmail dot com dot what <laughs> yeah <laughs> He's putting a full point on the end, wasn't he? Oh, look, he's come in. Shush, don't oh. talk about him now. Hello, Chris. Good morning. We've only got Chris. Hello, Chris. Hello. No, Terry, he's, he's, they'll be in it. I dare say there'll be some. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. He'll probably say, I can't see anyone. <laughs> come on, Terry. Uh, I've just asked him to start his video, so hopefully a pop-up would have come up on his phone. Have you told him to take the handbrake off? <laughs> we mustn't we mustn't say horrible things that to is. Terry. Hey. Hello, Terry. <laughs> Morning, Terry. He's not connected yet to the audio. He's connecting to audio. <laughs> <laughs> Remember last Last time he was putting it up to his ear, he's just tapped the button. Uh huh. Go and find a teenage. Oh, he's done it. Yeah, it ticked. Yeah. Go and, go and find a teenager. Hello, Terry. Ah, there he is. Hello, Terry. Oh, he's gone. Hello. He does what my dad does. He's gone again. I didn't click anything. Yes, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I can see his finger just just before he went. His finger touched the screen. Did you see that? Yeah, we yeah. Did. we led the board. <laughs> well, the good thing is he'll be able to. He's, it'd be a shame if he can't get interactive. Mm. It says, "Can you hear me?" Yeah. It says it's redirecting me. What does that mean? I know what it means, but what does it mean? <laughs> it means what it says. Just hang on. Just hang, hang on. on. Hang on. Morning. Hang on in there. Morning, Pauline. Morning. Morning, everyone. Did you get Morning. my message, Dave? 
What, just now? Or, no, yeah, no, yeah, I've only just... Yeah. No. I was having trouble getting in. No. I thought I was going to be on time this morning. I had it all set up, and then it wouldn't let me in. And I thought, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. now I'm late again. <laughs> so how no. did you... No, we're not. We're on time. Well, how I did just, you resolve it? Well, I just kept coming out and going back in, and then... It, the last time I did it, it, it disconnected. So I don't know what was wrong. So. Well, well I've, had, I've had trouble this morning as well. I've tried about you. four times. Oh, <laughs> so well, you could. Me. I'm the same. <laughs> oh, terrible. Oh. I'm the same. Yeah. I've got no picture. Oh. No. Oh. We've we got, no we got no Carol's picture. Oh. Yeah, no. What do I do? I, what do I do? Hang on. <laughs> oh, that's better. Mine's not. What do you do? <laughs> Whatever you did when you entered. Yeah. Well, I'm not there, am I? You've got no, you're, um, you're still not there, Carol. The hell? Okay. Shall I go again? Do it oh, again. Carol's turned up. Yeah. What did you press, Carol? It just Terry. said it just comes up. Your hosts asked you to join the meeting, and you just press OK. That's what I've just done to Terry, but he's not. He's ignoring it. Oh. Oh. You got to press OK, Terry. Dave, I'll start again. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. It's Friday then. Zoom meeting in progress. It says. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you've, got to un you've got to come out of it to come back in, haven't you? I don't know. Oh, what she do? You, okay. can't, you can't go okay. in twice. We're training him up to be a, a Zoom expert. You know that. Oh, there I go. Oh, there he is. Hello. Am I here? Yeah, you're here. Hello. Just bloody keep your fingers still and don't touch anything. <laughs> you ain't got to touch anything now. Just watch and learn. I can oh, see. Yeah. Uh, I can see. What's his name? What's his name? Gordon. <laughs> what's his name? Gordon. Uh, yeah. Pauline. Yeah. Hi. Oh, that's Pauline. That's Carol. I'm Carol. Yeah. <laughs> Joyce, Carol. Come, Joyce was coming, but she's got um, tummy. Ache. She's been up all night Dave. with a tummy bug. Oh, no, oh, dear. Oh gosh. Morning, uh, can you see me? Uh, forgotten the name. Chris, Chris, Chris. Chris. Okay. You, it, it says what there's a bit of a giveaway on the screen, it says their name. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, if you mind if you're I'm, I'm losing it, oh, yeah. <laughs> not me here, my brain, oh. my memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how is well, everybody? Yeah, all right. You? Fine, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. Had a bit of a scare. My brother was rushed in the hospital on Saturday. Oh. And oh. um, yeah, he's had a heart attack. But oh, yeah. amazingly, they um, got him from Hamworthy Park into Bournemouth Hospital Operating Theatre, and he was having a stent fitted within one hour and ten minutes of the that's ambulance. Good then, wasn't it? Oh, gosh. Great, that's yeah, good. Isn't it? yeah, so, um, mm. oh, yeah, he's all right, he's home now. He came home last night. Right, um, no. Very shell-shocked. Yeah. Shell yeah. Last person you would expect it to happen to is the youngest. Right. Yeah. I never know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit too no. no, but anyway. My little boy is okay now. So we had a bit of a scare, but um, hopefully he's all right now. What's Terry done now? To me. Oh. <laughs> he went red then, didn't he? Oh. Yeah, he's doing it. He's touching things again, look. <laughs> if it ain't broke, don't glum and fix it. <laughs> it's a computer. It only, work, only understands zero and naught. <laughs> or zero and one even. See, I got, even I've lost it now. Yeah. Oh, zero. Yeah. I've oh. I've worked out there's a good job opportunity looking forward. These Daleks. Yes. When they invade, anyone that's good at dusting 
in <laughs> round where their head is in here it oh, right. collects dust look at Oh, Dusty, yeah. I was thinking there's a job there for some poor bugger. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Well, it's better than getting exterminated. <laughs> <laughs> I got busy. I've had. I got Sainsbury's has just been, so that panic's over with. <coughs> I got a lady coming from Yeovil. Um, sometime. I don't know, it could be off 10, could be, well, it won't be that, it'd be sometime um, in a minute, in and out, or whatever. So I might disappear and run down and say hello to her, just brief, just say hello for two minutes. But other than that, we're doing good. good. You, that good. apple was good. Everyone did a really good one, didn't they? Yeah. I'm really pleased with mine. Looks I've, good. Yeah, I think I've cracked it there. I'm, I'm chuffed yeah. bits with that. It's good. Yeah. The reason I like it so much, I was talking to my dad the other day, and I said one of the earliest memories, or one of the few memories I got from when I was a little toddler, was in his dad's, in my granddad's house, above it were in the in the lounge where we used to have our sort of tea or whatever cheese spread sandwiches on the wall was a painting of fruit like that apple mm. there was an apple and then something oh, i can't remember exactly what it was and i always and that that picture distinctly reminds me of that and i thought i've seen that somewhere before and that's what it is mm. so i've gone back in time now so I'm really chuffed about that. Oh. T today's subject is um, an interesting one, I think. Um, hang on, I'll pin my screen and then we can have a laugh. Mm -hmm. So you booked the church in September? Did. Yeah, I thought we'd have summer off anyway. Yeah, well, that's good, yeah. isn't it? Well, apparently... Apparently the okay. elder the elders have a meeting um, today. What day is it? Uh, oh, it might have been. Must have been Saturday. This Saturday just gone. Right. The elders have a had a meeting. So um, Verity was nagging me, and what have you, it was what, 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 what. So I just said, you know, there's another commission I'm doing. Ooh. Spinny Hill. Ooh, very nice. It's a, just someone's house. Somebody just started it. It was for my, for, I think it's for my son's mother in law. Ooh. No, mother in law's mum. So it's his. Do you have a grandmother in law? I suppose you can. Ooh. Well, he has now. I've, I've, um, hey, Carol. Yeah. I've done it. I put some, I wasn't going to, but I did. I don't know why, but I put some masking fluid. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I'm not doing it because it just mucks my either. picture up. It just mucks it up. Yeah. Well, it was the uh, it was the little lighthouse thing. Oh, well, I'll just have to paint around that carefully. Yeah. <laughs> what we're oh. while, I, while I remember, what we were talking about yesterday was I send out one of these with a grid on and I always mark the grid letters across the top and numbers down the side now when you transfer it to your painting or your paper it depends on your paper size mm. so all you got to do or all I tend to do is um, look for a long ruler <laughs> or, or a tape measure I've got a ruler but it just isn't big enough <laughs> so <laughs> yeah but then all I tend to, what I've been doing rightly or wrongly but I'm going to caveat I'm going to change my, is measure measure the, the width of my paper mm -hmm. and then I count the grids on here if I want to reproduce it as it is one two three four five six seven eight so if I measure that and divide it divide it 
into it or divide eight into it tells me what the, what the dimension is of that square in relation to this right okay so then yeah. i know that if i if i make mark the center of the piece of paper then this one i think it was say 60 uh, 25 then i'll just go 10 25 put mark 10 then just yeah draw a square that way but more recently i've been thinking well if it was like thing like um where is it the apple yeah we've got an mm -hmm. equal thing there so i've printed one out with a grid but there's no reason why you don't have to draw the whole grid so you could quite easily say well i'm only interested in this center bit so you could just go one two three four five just mark where the area that you're interested in yeah, yeah. so you know that you've got an area of three by five you've got 20 15 square grid yeah so if you want to enlarge it you can just draw it doesn't matter as long as they're square mm -hmm. so yeah. if i if i want like for example oh, well, i've got a bit of paper here it's all relevant so if i wanted to put the apples on this a3 piece of paper all i've got to make sure i do is draw a grid relevant to that so i need three a grid of three going down and three and um, five going across so that but what i'm what i'm intimating here is you could draw that that space that grid anywhere so yeah, you could put yeah. that up there and then <coughs> and then just follow it from there so mark it one two three exactly the same that way there's a better neater way of doing it actually if you look at your subject whatever it is and say oh, i want to concentrate on this area mm -hmm. so just draw a few lines to relevant to that area do you see what I'm saying? And then you, yeah, that way yeah. you, I mean, you've only got to rub out a yeah, few. Better, isn't yeah, better, is Yeah. Otherwise you end up... Rubbing it all over. Looks like you have to... Otherwise you have to do the whole shooting match, you know. Yeah. And rub out loads of things. And I had a eureka moment last night and I thought, well, a couple of days ago, and I thought, well, why am I doing this? I'm only... All I'm doing is this area. So yeah. why am I putting square? over the whole thing so that was a eureka moment <laughs> um while i've got paper and pencil in hand um my um my people from oh yeah my people have arrived from what's it i'll wait until they unpack and i will run down and just say hello Hi. so um what i was going to say I've been working on this. It's my planters. I've ordered these big planters. Well, I've, yeah. and they've come all the way from Yeovil to the <coughs> room. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, right. Here's something to be thinking about while I just run down and say hello. Draw a circle. And in the circle, draw an oval. So what you've got is a circle with an oval on it. And from the oval, you can think about this while I just run down. Um, this will be in pencil, yeah? Now, mm. depending on which way someone is looking, you can draw another line, curve line, like so, yeah? Mm -hmm. Take this one and draw a line down the center and a line across the center. This line becomes um, eyebrows. This line. Nearly frozen. His nose line. If you take the distance between there and there and put exactly the same down the bottom gives you a chin and if you take the same at the top the, this line here the oval this is the hairline 
This is for going forward for next week and etc. Yeah. So if you've got your eyebrows, so now we can draw our eyebrows in, and under the eyebrows we got eyes. Then we've got. This is the point of the bridge of the nose down, and now we've got our mouth line. Where the centre of that is will be the ear line, and don't forget the hairline. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, it can be you, you. You can you can see how quick and easy it is to draw a head. Yeah, when we're watching you, it looks quick and easy. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to go and I'm just going to go down and say. Uh, okay. That's quite clever. Isn't it? Thank yeah, you to this it lady. <laughs> That's very clever. Mm. Mm. Is anyone there? Hello, yeah. Tom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks like an alien. <laughs> it does a bit. I've, I've just taken a picture of it on my iPhone and I can have a look oh. at that. Oh, that's a good <laughs> idea. I'm, I know I'm not about that. There's me trying to draw it in a pen, but uh, yeah. yeah, then you can yeah. do it. I missed own. some of it. Good idea. Yeah. You only want the final picture, don't you, really? Yeah. And you can just... That, it's very clever. Hello. Me. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I can't hear you. <laughs> Hello, Terry. Hello. Hello. There's a lot more <laughs> noises going on again. Yeah. Yeah. It's not me. We're not moving. No. No, it's not us. I don't know what it is. No, not us at all. I'm not moving. No, strange, isn't it? No idea what it is. Mm. We've got the diggers at the back of our garden taking oh. down council offices today. Oh, is that what upset Dyson? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're knocking down the poll tax building. Yeah? Yeah, mm. it's all going. All the trees are gone. Oh, no. Yeah. All the squirrels have disappeared. Oh, that's really sad. Yeah. I have to your 80 houses, though. Yeah, not going to be very good at all, but there we are. Okay, all down to money. Yeah. Yeah. They don't damage your wall. Sorry, as long as they don't damage your wall. Well, yeah, they're, they're putting all the scrap metal, which is all the beams out of the roof, within about a foot of the wall. Oh, crikey. Yeah. And they're using 40-ton JCB type Pimex to uh, move it with. Yeah. Oh. I can't see the wall lasting very long. Oh, well, they'll have to build you a new one. We hope so. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like a six-foot wooden fence, yeah. Yeah. Oh. They have promised to maintain the wall, but... Uh, We'll have to wait and see. Yeah. It's a bit worrying. We thought when we moved here, we'd be quite safe with the council offices behind us. It would be nice and quiet. But <laughs> yeah. How uh, long you were. So we now you know that, that method. No, oh, he's back again. That, oh. method, that method of... Um, Stop talking about him. Drawing, <laughs> yeah. Of drawing... Of, um, <laughs> Drawing portrait uh, heads is called the yes. Loomis method. Loomis. Mm. Yeah, it's under after a bloke called Andrew Loomis. I can send you the link. I've, I've written your... that down because that's quite handy. Andrew yeah. Loomis. I'll send you a link to the PDF file for the book. You don't need to buy the book. Mm -hmm. So I've mm -hmm. got the PDF. Um, somebody kindly has spoken. <laughs> Photograph the scan the book and put it up online as a PDF file. Oh. It's a bit naughty, but I'm not gonna naughty, but no, never mind. <laughs> yeah, so uh, very useful. Yeah, well, I thought while well, I remember because that's next week. Yeah. yeah soon yeah. comes around. Yeah. I don't I think what I'm it's all part of what we're gonna do, but I think what I shall probably do with the is do a grid and sketch out the outline using the grid mm -hmm. of the queen 
mom. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've already done it actually somewhere. Oh. Oh. No, I, th I was just pottering around. I thought, well, I can't muck about with that. Oh, yeah, here we go. I've actually, I think I, I found another picture, so I might actually use the other picture. So this one might not be. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll still do the grid very mm -hmm. faintly. Um, but then I've got the circle. So I could, within the grid, do the outline like I normally yeah. would, but I can still put um, this line is important because it it makes it, it makes something like this which is two dimensional so if i put a line sort of like that all of a sudden it gives it like a ball because that's what we're doing we're, yeah. we're actually painting it's not i know it's not not the other white but who cares it's important yeah. what we're doing is is we're, we're painting a ball with with the sides cut off yeah, if you take the size off the apple, yeah. that gives you the head. So that's that's all the head is. Hence the reason that you do this oval here, because that is intimating you've shaped the, the side of the right. ball off. Yeah. Oh, really? and it's the same both sides. But the beauty of that method is um, you can, depending where you change where you put your line going that way and then put the line through there now the nose is up you've got point you can look up down right. all around so it's a really clever way right. of yeah. doing it there is another one another variant of the how to draw a head that's um called the o'reilly riley method or something like that and that is complex so i'm not going down that route i've got to, <laughs> there ain't enough years left in me life to do it <laughs> <clears throat> anyway we digress this i reckon this we should finish this by 11. yeah <laughs> past. Um, i thought of, I, I was thinking about it earlier thinking Cool. It's such a nice change not to have to worry about the beach at the bottom, <laughs> the sand, the figure, you know, all, all that rubbish. But then I thought, hang on, it's not such a bonus because the water, the sea is quite complex, okay. isn't it? Yeah. But then again, I thought I might, I might just have a bit of fun with that as well. I the Scott, because everybody has issued, well, not everybody, a lot of people are sort of reticent of skies. So, what I'm going to do is turn it upside down. I'm not, um, I could, I could do it digitally, but that wouldn't help me because I'm going to paint it. Anne knows what I'm on about. Yeah. Really? <laughs> well, when I first started off, the image was, remember, my pitch, the camera, because I'm using. Yeah. The camera sees this image the other way around. It's only the, the computer oh, right. program that I used that has turned the image upside down and mirrored yeah. it so that it's the right way around on screen. Yeah. Um, I think what I was going to, what I was planning on doing, if I could find my nice brush. Oh, it fell on the floor earlier. I picked it up. Then where did it go? That Terry's quiet. He must be. I reckon he snuck off. I can't get a word in. Oh. You have to put your hand up, Terry, if you want to speak. I thought, hello, he's gone off with Marina. <laughs> oh, I didn't pick the brush up. Sorry. It was the one I singled out for this task. In any case, what I've done is I've mixed up. Well, I've got a palette. Hang on, let me show you. On my, this is my beautiful, oh. <laughs> my my backup palette. I've got two palettes. This one, it's got gold gouache there. That's the flesh, and that's another flesh that's a bit young. And that's Chinese white, and that's burnt sienna in there actually. 
don't know why I've got that there, but I must have meant something. And the the bits of foam are just sort of uh, dried themselves onto the top. <laughs> but that's my my secret palette. Um, what I was going to do, I've, this is quite a big sheet of paper, actually, thinking about it. Yeah, I um, that. So you can scale yours then. I think it was just a piece of paper that was that I had floating around. So anyway, what I'm planning on doing is to, I'm going to spray it first. Because um, it's a lot of, lot of water to blow. I'm just going to spray it and then and then brush it. So I'm going to make it nice and damp. I've got my hair dryer out ready. I think that's probably why I was better off um, just putting a bit of masking fluid on this because it's such a big piece of paper. I was talking to Alan Hayden um, the other day. Um, he's, in, he's got his exhibition in the Hayloft in Christchurch and he was telling me about the painting he's got upstairs it was a watercolour and it's enormous <laughs> I think it's about five foot long oh, wow. the paper was en was enormous he had to buy it specially it's arches I thought crikey just having a board to stretch a five foot piece of paper on was <laughs> interesting enough oh. so what I'm going I've made it nice and wet now I'm going to get a load of um just to make just for a change to do the sky slightly different i've used this is chinese white yeah so i'm just this paper is not very um user friendly it's started to cockle big time don't like where this is that um i keep calling it somerset but it's not it's stonehenge <laughs> close <laughs> not even close actually <laughs> Play 50 miles difference um yeah, I'm just giving it a coat of um, coat. Sounds like you're doing the wall. This is just Chinese white. I'm just dabbing it on. And the brush is obviously not a rosemary brush because it's dipping out. Mm -hmm. Hairs all over the place here. Yeah, so the reason I'm doing this is to so that people that are um, not so keen on skies can if you put the white on it it also it helps you I just went there tonight it gives you that nice well hopefully a nice background to blend your sky in on I always do that with acrylic I always put a coat of, um, coat of white on yeah that's it's the it it's a natural way of doing it, but you can. I think that's probably where that's the way I do it in acrylic as well. So, but what I've, what I'm, but I'm thinking, why not do it in watercolor? Gordon picked me up on it a while back and said, "You're you're not doing that anymore." That and I said, "Well, yeah, don't see why I should." But I've got a few different blues here, so. This is a, but the beauty of using the, um, this is cobalt blue, or was it? Which one did I, can you remember? Was it? No, it might be ultramarine. No, I hate ultramarine. It was, <laughs> it was, it was supposed, but I'm still coming in from the diagonal. So, to, um, but I've kept the bottom lighter. I want it to be nice, just like the um, Battle of Britain's gone on up in the top. I'm going to turn it back around the other way. <laughs> You're going to get all those streaks, but the beauty of using the white is it will help resolve those streaky bits. And you can carry on adding it in add as you want. I'm not going putting flash colours in this time either. I'm just, which I said, this I'm not planning on a... Can I get a word in? You just did. That's what I've got. Can you see it? I can't. Can't read, can't read what it is. Giotto. It's backwards. It's, it's only found. And you can put it on as white and paint over it. And it What's it called? 
It, sorry? What's it called? Giotto. It's French, I think. Hold it, Funny, up, near your, hold it up near your face, Terry, because we can't see it. Oh, it's right. all right. Well, before you go, we'll spotlight it anyway. You got it? Yeah. yeah. Giotto. Yeah. It's from the range. Oh, the range. All oh, right. What so, is it? Is it a quillet? One, 150. Is it a quillet? No, it's, it says it's um, goosh. Gouache. Gouache, that's what I meant, gouache, yeah. yeah. It's just permanent white. It's the same as we're using, really. It's for stools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Great. I use it a Great. lot. Yeah. Um, that's it. I'm not going to do hardly any... This is brush. Oh, look. Something always happens, doesn't it, to ruin what I'm doing. <laughs> it's a bird. Uh, oh, UFO. No. It's a UFO. Yeah, I hate it. Brushes, uh, hair is coming out of the brush. Um, I'm. I just wanted a plain sky. That's all I wanted. Nothing flash. It's a nice flush. And the beauty of this, doing it this way is when it dries. Lovely horizon I've got. Um, this is um, this paper's hot pressed. You can. I'm going to kind of dab in a few highlight areas. So we got those stratus clouds, sort of very fine ones, which you'll get with a crinkled up piece of tissue anyway. But I'm just doing them on the edge, on the soft bit. But um, because we've got a white base, I'm pretty confident that it doesn't matter. If it doesn't, if I'm not happy about it, I'll, I'll just put more white on when it's dried. But the papers stretch big time there. I I did it the other day with the oh, funny enough with <laughs> this picture here on the of the little house thing. I just put the um, blue on first, and it, I didn't like it. And I found that putting white on afterwards brought it all back to the sort of nice dreamy. Do you mean white before? I d I've done it both ways, Terry. I've All just, right. Okay. On this one, I've yeah. done. I've done it the opposite. Put the white right. on first because yeah. because I think if you're if you're confident or not as confident as maybe I might be, it's a neater <laughs> way of doing it. Yeah. But while it's damp, put um, some on the top. No. I'm not advocating that. What I'm saying is do it this way. Yeah, David. But if you, yeah, put the white on first and then introduce nice blues to it. Yeah. Um, but if if when it dries back, you feel that um, you've got the option, you can still put more, you can use white again to, to tease up any, yeah. any run backs or dry... Yeah horrible bits of sky that you're not satisfied with but this is um i was going to say is, this is truly what like watching paint dry <laughs> it, it, you could it is a bit like that but equally what you do now with the tissue while it's damp and teasing bits off makes the whole blooming picture later and especially when the paper's doing this cockling yeah. um where it cockles invariably not maybe it might not do it so much with um this is hot press so it's smooth paper but if it's um the, the knobbly stuff um not not finished knobbly not for knobbly um then the water tends to form pools in amongst the where it cockles. So when it dries, you end up with a flipping dark or a a line that you can sort of sense. Oh, that's where the paper cockled. Right. There are ways around that. If you're using the not finish, like I do most of the time, turn it up and and just stand it, stand it on its edge 
for a few minutes somewhere and it'll all run back. It'll, it'll help it even out a bit. But yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite content. You can see this, see what I'm on about here. Look. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like more like Poulton's part than a watercolor. <laughs> the, um, I'm a bit conscious that the, my, my, inf my famous no, never fail stretch watercolour paper technique <laughs> has actually failed. <laughs> well, it's not the paper, it's because the board, I'm right on the edge of the board and it's got all, I wouldn't normally do that. I'm on the, I don't know, maybe I'm making up bland excuses. <laughs> I was going to say, um, the other day, when I was doing this sort of thing, um, I decided to put some sort of soft grey bits underneath some of the clay, you know, introduce some soft grey bits into the clay, but I, it didn't work. Well, for me, it didn't. I wasn't that impressed at the time. I thought, nah, you made a, you made a nice sunny blue sky suddenly have bits on it that might not I don't know that make it look cold or less intro, less inviting but yeah if you want to get some really light watered down yuck that you've got on your palette and just dab in some some little grey bits to the bottoms of the crowd, cloud, crowds, clouds even, but they are very faint. If you make them strong, you turn a nice summer's spring day into a. Can you see what? I'm, what I mean? you, just be careful with it. I'm deliberately. Avoiding putting too. I can come back later and when it's dry and dab a few in. Just spray the paper with water so it's damp, and then drop a few. But it's almost. It's not really colour. It's just sort of dirty water. Very faint. This is um. This area of the palette here is the shadow tones so it would have, all that's ever in there is some terry Har high clouds tend not to have that much shadow on them anyway wispy aren't they so tending to keep the the ones this is totally personal selective beauty of doing them really light is you can Get rid of them. Just tease them out. Maybe it's... See, to me, it looks false already. Never mind. Let's put my hair dryer on it and see what happens, shall I? If you're a, a large bang, my um, stretched paper is no longer stretched. <laughs> Well, I do, because it's a simple um, if I do nothing, a simple subject, I'm going to dry it and then do some more on it. Da, 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 da. Yeah, all the bits where I put the cloud on, I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> well, <Not again. laughs> well, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't say that. No, I'm joking. Well, trying to stretch, trying to heat, dry this off without it. Um, 
coming unstuck. Don't think it will. Nearly there. This is going to be a two-stage event. See, I like that sky. <laughs> if anything, rather than bits of grey, I'd put more, highlight it with different blues. <coughs> anyway, decision's yours. I'll come back to that. Oh, enough. Wobble it. Oh, it's getting there. There's a big lump over here. Good old hair dryer, this. It's burning my hands. I know that. <laughs> I think it's because of, of the composition as well that's... Not throwing me, but making it more in more of an interest. Ah, that bit over there is fine. See, I don't like these grey wispy bits. So, what I'm going to do is throw. Da, da, da. I've got a really big brush here. This is the boring bit now. Is yes, I'm gonna now it's dry. I've got a a varnish brush, which I'm now. That's what I said to Alan actually. How did you do the what brush did you use? If you've got a five foot sky wash to do, what brush did you use? And he said I went over being keys. And bought and got a few paint brushes, varnish brushes like these ones. Anyway, what I'm doing here, because I don't want I want it to be a really nice smooth sky. What I've got underneath isn't gonna hurt. Come in from the sides. I've just added more white. And another hair. <laughs> Bloody things. I'm surrounded by them. This you go life goes through stages on these these things. I just wanted it to be a smooth sky with some I'm just going in towards the diagonal a little bit. Now I'm gonna leave that and dry that off. Yeah, you can imagine if you've got a five foot wide piece of watercolour. You've got to put a, a bit of from the other. The other side is dry. Same with acrylics. Quite an interesting proposition, really. Challenge, even. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to dry this off again. But this is, I only did that because of what Terry said. Yes. So you can do it three ways white the paper, add the blue. Blend it in nicely, same as you would in acrylics. Frozen Gives again. you a nice soft sky with mine. Just get ordinary, just get the white again. Once it's dry, and go over it, go over it again. And what I find is it it retains the same sort of gradient. Call it what you like. Undercut, you know, the under bit still there. Gives it quite a nice feel, I think. I've done this with just blue, but you can do it with, if you've got different colours in the sky as well, it'll work. Blend it all nice. Whistle while you work. <laughs> it's doing a good job, this hair dryer. It's nearly there. Now, the, the next stage is, the, is to make a decision on how you're going to approach the water on the 
the sea. I'm going to make the mistake so that you don't need to. But I'm going to be a bit. Well, I'm going to have a have a think about it and go a bit, maybe a bit off piste. <laughs> Let's see. Think about it. Well, think about the sky. What color of uh, the sea? What color is it? What color is it? Well, it's, to me, looking at it, it's got the the lovely ultramarine blue in it. Which one? Yeah, it's more like ultramarine, isn't it? There's ultramarine in it, but just for the I'm I'm going to make it well we're going to make make a commitment make it wet first and see what happens after that and just make a decision and I think if you've got colours in your palette that you feel that is, could add to the to the water that's yellow there's I'm just cleaning up my palette. It's, some, it's got some yellow, and I'm not thinking beach because I'm now while it's yellow, we'll add some of the dreaded ultramarine blue. I've gone off it. I've gone off it. I never, I never liked it in the first place. I, th I think it was. Um, Stains too much, doesn't it? Well, it's the early days. That's why I've put um, mm. the yellow underneath because I wanted it to go green. But I have got a. I'm where that. I can. I'm just using this flat brush. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on it. But I figure a flat brush can give you a good, a nice horizon line. And if you go on its edge and go straight across, you can get some nice um, lines of, you know, where the waves might be to start you off. But the yellow underneath will definitely give it a tinge. I'm not... It's, the, it's the, like yellow and blue is green, so it'll give it like a C colour, is that right? I was thinking along those lines. You, oh, thank you. you spotted my deliberate <laughs> plan. But this has got um, I've added a little bit of I've uh, got a major issue here. That the Your horizon's not very level. <laughs> That's because I've got, there's the on islands the there. On the left. <laughs> Only joking. <laughs> I'm finished yet. <laughs> Terry keeping you on your toes. Yeah, it's the tide actually, Dave. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> it's low tide on the left, that's all. <laughs> I was doing all right then till he started. <laughs> Oh. Swine. Right, yeah, now, Mrs. Oh, yes, now, oh, that, well, ta -ta -ta -ta. <laughs> right, no, Mrs. What are we going to do? I don't know, I ain't got a clue. I'm going to let I'm going to dry it off because those colors are some of those colors are going to stain, and I want a sea green, not a Photoshop blue set because I've got so many um not a wise choice of paper this because it's, it's, it's decidedly wants to um cockle like Billy do. Just 
Can I ask a little question, Dave? Come on, Dave. Dry off. Can I ask a little question? Carry on. If you turn your board sideways, oblong, top to bottom, would those creases, what, when you wet it, would they be the other way? <laughs> you know what I mean? Would it cockle the other way? Yeah, it, if you turned it sideways, your picture, and do that, would it? Would the lines be the other way? Then it would look like waves on the sea, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. The only reason it's cockling is because it's not stuck on the edge. Yeah. Because it's the paper hasn't. Yeah. My paper hasn't stretched. It's. Yeah. Paper. Okay. What did you say? What was I on about? If you turn it sideways. Um. If I turn it portrait, will it cock? Yeah. Yeah, forget it. it I'll explain it when I see you. <laughs> that way. Because my paper is stretched really well, top and bottom, but it's not stretched on the left-hand side. The paper has come away. Hence the reason I'm having to... This won't go away here. The um, My next... Trick. My next trick, if I can find me... Just for, just, this is for me and Carol, this is. Oh, what's that? Because we're, <laughs> we like doing, we like doing things different. But I'm going to do, I, I, I'm just going to try it just for, um, well, because I've never done it before. And wow. Here I've got a, a load of pastels, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I've got a variety of blues in here and some purples. So I was, I was thinking earlier, why not go find some of these? Um, if I make, make some lines where I think I can see dark areas, you see it. Because I use the flat brush going across, now it's dried. There's streaks. There, there are, there are little areas that look like they need that they're they're waves or crested crested waves. This isn't the end of this. I'm only just putting in some lines quickly. Does that spend... work? With um, watercolor pencils as well. No, don't use that. it. No, so, this uh, that's a different method. Right. But yes, we'll do that as well, just to. Because I've just bought some of those. So. Right now, I've just put some color on. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do is get um, what size? Just get a brush, dip in some clean water. Yeah. And I'll start at the top, and now I'm just going to. Tweak those little bit. This pastel, but I'm just going to. I'm just, I'm just going to use clean water to try and manipulate, move. The colour around. That looks might, good. Dave. It's not going to be a one. A that one. looks good. Oh. Well, it's a it's a variation on a theme. Mm. So, the reason I'm doing it is to show that if you've got some pastels, you can quite easily. I've got a, a little range of different shades of blue in my hand. You can quite justifiably uh, you can go lighter. So we put the light blue in between, sort of mix and match it up a bit, because you can't, you can't sit there and paint the water how it is. Be a bit careful with the where it meets the island, because it goes smoother. Then the um, there are no my horizons wonky there. That's that Terry told me off, <laughs> put me off. It did, but yeah. So we can just. 
It's not yeah. a five. It's not a five. Mm. Minute process that though. You've got to do it. You want to add the clean water to it. See how it goes, really. Oh, it's nice. Well, <clears throat> it's one of those things. I'm not going to spend too long doing it, but you will. It is an option, a variation, okay. and because it's it's pure color. This paper won't handle it very well because it's so thin. Mm. So it's already lifting here. But if you've got stronger paper, it will, it'll be all right once it's dried back. So that's how I'm say, advocating. Now, what someone just mentioned a minute ago was I'll dry this off. Okay. But it will add a little bit of. Why do things the same all the time? If you do things the same way all the time, you end up with the same results. Mm. So the thing about, uh, well, anything in life really, but particularly this painting malarkey, otherwise you end up with a cupboard full of things that you never use mm. because I thought I need them. <laughs> well, you did need them, but you just never got round to using them. Now, the other, the other question from our Pauline related to the watercolour pencils can you do a similar thing? Of course you can. Of course you can. The These are watercolour pencils. They're graph tints with them. The others, but yeah. So you got exactly. You might get a better result. I can't find. Hang on. That's a. That's a bluey one. Is there another blue? Yeah, it's sort of a blue one. I'll just put it on. Hang on, let me push that up. I'll just put it on the, on a couple of bits near the foreground. Then clean water. And whoosh, that. I'll do the job. So yeah, you can use the watercolor bits. If you just do it like that, a streak at a time, you'll get um, areas like I'm getting here, where it looks like it's undulating because mm. it's it's a big ocean. I think actually looking at it, Pauline, your suggestion, I think the watercolour pencils do it better. You get a much, you get a softer, a softer effect. I can't do much with this now because so it needs to dry and then I'll put a coat of white on it. Yeah. So the, te the technique is quite simple, isn't it? We just mm. put where we want, where we, we think. So it's a sort of a two stage process. It was yellow out of the palette that was rubbish, just to give it a coat of that. Add some blue. Ultramarine and any other Russian. Myself. But then if you put the watercolour pencil on it, because it, it's coming to life. Ooh. And you can soften if you if you go so look, let me do it again on this bit. If I go a little bit of watercolour pencil on there because there's sort of a light area there. Then with clean brush, clean brush on, on my water, <laughs> brush on my water, um, just sweep it across and then pull it down as though you're forming a wave and it'll blend. It looks really nice. Quite chuffed with that. We've developed our own special 
Art group, hand of paint. Can I speak? Can Terry speak? <laughs> Go on then. Yeah, it looks good, Dave. You've done a good job there. I've learnt something there. Um, mm. Did you hear me? Well, I'm shot, man. Anyway, yeah. That, thanks, sir. Yeah, but that's what... what well, so have I. Well, I sort of, but I was thinking about it this morning. I thought, hmm. well, actually, I was usually think about it day before or whatever, and I was thinking, I'm, I'm bored. I'm bored. I don't want to do the normal C sort of doodle. I wanted to do something a bit more. Now, Isle of Wight. Oh, hang on. David. Dave, can, I, can I ask a question a minute? Two, five and six. Can I can I ask a question, Dave? Yes. Carry on. Is, I'm all ears. <laughs> is everybody else having the same freezing problem? You keep freezing for about four seconds. Yeah. 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 Okay, it's your end, not mine. Fine. That's my internet then, isn't it? I think you're going slow. You you keep freezing. Yeah. Especially when you've... In... Hopefully the video went. Yeah. It's when you're waving your hand and using the hair. Well, it's not freezing there and I'm waving like... No, no. Uh, I think it's related to the sound, the volume. The uh, When you're using your hair dryer, it switches off. Yeah, it will then. Yeah. I can yeah. understand that. Well, I'm not using it that often. Am I? No, it's freezing. No, but sometimes yeah. when you're talking loud, if uh, whether it, whether it takes more to send the volume down the internet, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Why did you just freeze then, then? Hmm? Me? Yeah. You just started talking. You said sometimes when you talk, kid... Yeah. It's just done it. Just froze then. I don't think your internet's uh, holding up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, I, well, it's better than, than I thought it would be. We'll persevere. I can't do much about it now, Gordon. Can I? I'll have... No, no, no. I'm just trying to figure out what it is. This is why my paper's cockling, look. <laughs> it's not stuck it's down on the, it's, it's come off now. <laughs> it's come off the edge yeah that's it spot on so now anyway I don't think I'll but I'm quite happy with that water I, the um the water Colour pencil and doing that softening down technique. Am I off for time? Anyone know? Yeah, no time. Twenty to twelve. Oh, I should, I should have half hour on the Isle of Wight and then go for a lie down, shall I? <laughs> um, yeah, the Isle of Wight. Do you love it? Clean water on the top. Really. What we've got to be careful about is that we keep the polar bear, really, isn't it? I don't know where the heck this came from. But it says, Gordon, that's fascinating. I'm just using a bit of yellow on clean water. If you look... Um, I get it. So you I'll do it again. This brush. Is. Uh, and if I. If I push. If I use my brush. And. If I go. Push it in the palette. Like so. It forms a wedge. A very fine, flat chisel shape almost. I, I I noticed it yesterday. I was doing something with another brush, and it, I was doing exactly the same thing with that brush. Anyway, 
Let's try that. The Isle of Wight, I'm just going to give it a nice, if I can, a nice delicate glow. And I've got loads of horrible blue left over from when I was mucking about with my other bits and just drop it in. Don't want it too strong because it's, if we make it too strong, the Isle of Wight will come towards us. We don't want that, do we? Yeah. Hey, you can see where it is. No, I mean, in the, in the picture, <laughs> you know. We want to go there on holiday. In the image. Um, just, you want to what? Yeah, go there on you holiday. Stag you, you stuttered. No. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, just look for any any shadows. Think pretty. There's a little touch up here somewhere. The trouble is it's wet. So I'm, and it goes off dark at the at the left hand end. Yeah. Hello, can you get that for me, Chris? Yeah, okay. The dog's been quiet this morning. What's the matter with it? Yeah. Have you had your post been and gone or something? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. He knows on a Tuesday he starts at the other end of the road. I <laughs> 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 the other day and I said that I'm having a Zoom meeting at half past ten on Tuesdays. So he said, oh, I'll come to your end first. <laughs> Get it. He said the other way around. That's, that's good training, that is. Yeah. yeah. Very I'm going to have to, I'm going to go with the flow here because my, my little bit where the, where the rocks is needs to be tidy, tidied up. I'm just putting, I'm just looking for some very faint grey shadow areas just to whack them in. Same technique though. bit of colour. You can even do what I do there, just add the water. I'll do it on all of them first. I wish I hadn't used this paper, it's a shame. Um, then while it's damp, just start at the top and just let it flow in. Sorry, Chris, you could, you. could it's a bit difficult for you to do this in a correct. Sounds like there's a Cyberman in the corner. <laughs> Or was it that Dalek? It's the same. I'm going to do the same thing on all the rocks because we're just sort of blocking in at the moment. So if you look at your picture, just put some damp bits. There's a lovely clean water. Find some really light. If you do it that way, um, can do it in acrylics as well. Is what will happen is the you'll get a lovely random um because you can't sit there and paint all the rocks in. It's ridiculous. You've got no chance of that. But this is the colour. It's just um it's a shadow colour, shadow tone. How do we do shadows? Recap. We've got some burnt sienna. Burnt sienna. Blue. Yeah. You can add some. If I add some blue to the burnt sienna, that gives us grey. So we don't want grey. So what we've got to do is add some alzira and crimson to it. That will give us an even readier grey. So no. So can we start this again? <laughs> if we take some blue. I was just testing you. If we take some blue, that could be our. Awesome. Our lovely ultramarine blue. And that's this our shadow tone, okay? And a very weak. 
if you add red to it, it will go even more. So that's that's how we do it. So it's blue with some purple. See, there it is there. It gives us that, that color there. But if you want to mute it down, then go back to what we were saying and add some of this burnt sienna and blue, which gives us our, our gray. So the average trying to make it gray. Other time it goes first. Yeah, give you that. So it's it's close. Depends on how how you feel, but if you add blue to it, it'll go back to being a, a more subtle grey sort of um shadow tone. If you add red to it, obviously it's warm and cold, isn't it? So that's all you're doing really. But the trouble is when it's that strong it's almost over overpowering i thought i found with the shadow bits like that it's better to um, weak and gradually build up so my, i'm going to do do it to all of it clean water that lovely bit of shadow that you told me to mix up I'm just going to whack it on there. I, I spoke too soon here. And the, that's Not the postman me. here. Not me. That's an interesting clean water. Just let it. Um, I don't want to touch the polar bear. Now, get our rigger and find some darks. Well, in my case, it's blue and burnt umber. Gives us, look at that, went straight into a sort of a, a really dark grayish color. Kind of but while everything's still damp, it's a question now of looking at our original picture and saying where is, where are these these dark areas are and just getting our rigor and dropping it while it's still damp as well. So notice I haven't dried anything off. <gasps> you oh, did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> All these things are Oh. Yeah. Well, if it oh. goes right every time, if you, as you, as you put, as you just make a decision, I want a rock to go down that way, just flat your brush <laughs> at an angle and it'll turn up. Lovely, jubbly. Oh, I've got a dark one there. And I've got a dark, dark one over here. The, don't matter how accurate you go, there'll always be some idiot. <laughs> if you're out, uh, if you think that rock ain't like that, oh, go away, leave me alone. And uh, I'm rushing now. Question of just teasing our rocks in, and. I actually put some pencil lines where I thought, oh, this paper over this side, it's a bit difficult because the paper's on a, I was going to say on a knife edge, but it's not, it's on a, <coughs> on a what's it? And if you feel later that you want to add some. Sorry. <laughs> Now you should be missing something. He continues talking. He doesn't care. I, I haven't spoken. You haven't missed anything because I haven't said anything for 10 minutes. <laughs> you talking to me, Dave? I'm concentrating. If you, my video. <laughs> yeah, it hasn't started. I just ain't. I'm just talking out loud. Just thinking in general. 
I'm not uh, criticizing your, your speech, Dave. I'm trying to figure out what the hell happens on this freezing up. Yeah, it's happening a lot more this week. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. How, how come? What I, what I, you don't get the voice continuing. Voice stops. Voice stops. Yeah. But yeah. it continues. I can hear you. I can hear you lot. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's yours. I, I can hear everyone. Yeah. No, we lose half your conversation. Yeah. I reckon, I reckon it's, a memory, it's a memory problem against your sound card. Something to do with that. No, I, it's probably because I'm using the mobile phone to do the video. Yeah. Mm, maybe. <clears throat> Could be. So anyway, what we do next week, I'll use the... Um, what's the name? I'll go back to the other camera. I, I wasn't sure whether this was better than or not, really. I haven't said anything because I was waiting for someone to mention here. Do you reckon you ought to... The picture's looking... Or whatever, you know. It was that sort of comment, and no one's made it. So I'm thinking, well, at least the picture seems all right. Is it no? It's no better or particularly better than the other one there. It's the same, that's the problem. No? No, it's just, you just keep freezing. It freezes yeah. and then you, you carry on as if it hasn't frozen. No. <laughs> yes, it's like watching television. Well. <laughs> People had all Zoom meetings now, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hey, I just had a thought. Careful. <laughs> it's only because Terry's here. What? Terry's here. Uh, that's why it's all freezing. That's why it's, maybe it's something to do with Terry. Oh, it's always me, isn't it? Ah, that's my boy. <laughs> that's my boy. It's got to be me. No, no. The story of my life. <laughs> That's why I get that. What's the what's the, the words of the song to self? Anyway, the boring bit is the final bit isn't it it's always the the bit at the end where you have to or this sort of area now where i'm just trying to tighten that area up a bit with my shadow area just just for the sake of the i'm just using a bit of the dark tone that I made just to height just to tidy up the the water where it's meeting the island for now I think this is a well it's not it's not that bad actually it's sort of without looking grand Actually, build it up. The, are, the rocks are. It's very nice, isn't it? The lots are the. Um, yeah. I think the. It's what, a lot of these Tuesday morning images are. They're not five. They're not five minute slick pictures that you can just sort of. Well, so I've added a few, a little bit of shade to the the polar bear bit over here, yeah. and as it dries off, it's just just a question of adding in some darks. Dry brushwork is is good. If you 
on the rocks because you can just tease in some little areas. Yep. Um, Very good. The other, that's what I like a bit of encouragement. It makes me paint better. A little bit of red, really, don't we? That's the beauty of what attracts us to this image is that we've got this um, lighthouse anomaly on the side that we can just pop in some that warms the whole picture up just by adding a little bit of colour on it. I'll have to straighten my horizon up that bit across there. And um, the other issue is using Pauline's the Barnes technique <laughs> of um, using oh, these are the right ones, yeah. Using the um, a lovely watercolor pencil. Any watercolor pencils? Gradually, I think I think it's good that we're that I've well. Between us, we've started introducing watercolour pencils because it's such a, I don't know, it's a memory of George because he used to use watercolour pencils on flipping everything. Mm. <laughs> but I think doing it this way adds to the... to our... Um, Adds a little bit of um, pastel that's eaten the paper up. Uh, one thing, let me think about this, if I've got a piece here. Uh, oh no. Um, piece of, yeah, I see it, hang on. I spy with my little, with my little eye, something beginning with card. <laughs> See, yeah, what if card on them, way press down and draw a straight line with the watercolor paper? Voila! See how quick that is. Um, Did you watch that? Yeah. Piece of card, <laughs> oh, watercolor sick. pencil. If your horizon's a bit wonky or you're not, not too keen with it. Not level. <laughs> Just use a watercolour pencil of more or less the right colour. Mm. Mm. Good. Yeah. And away you go. Theme. God, I don't know where I get all these ideas from. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, once you've put a little bit of watercolour pencil down, clean water on it. Mm on the area and you can suddenly introduce a lot more information I call it don't I but and while it's down you can see you had with watercolor using a tissue and a brush you can just move it around move it around um, I think the water that's looking really nice now, actually I'm, I'm, I'm a bit loath to faff around with it too much This, these bits soften down with some clean water the tissues uh, fissures on the rocks just clean water can you see that? Have I stuttering? <laughs> Same with any of these things, any of these bits. You can soften them down. In computer, we use use that to, in photography. If you're using Photoshop to do photos, to do it all the time. Use uh, what they call it, um, 
a Gaussian blur. Blur the image a little bit. It does the opposite to what, you, what it says on the tin. You think you're blurring it, but it actually puts it in sort of your brain or the eye looks at it and puts it more into focus than it was prior to that. That's not um, the bottom of the the rocks out in the the needles even just get a little bit of you got any paints grey my normal um, blue and burnt burnt amber and get a nice edge on your brush and just dab a few of those in. Really dark shadows. You could use the watercolour black pencil. Tease out a few more. There you go. Well, I hope you're inspired to because I'm stood too close to it. The only thing I'm picking up on, that horizon on the right-hand side, where you've made that wave go down, it makes the horizon look as if it's dipping, even though it's not. What, here? Yeah. Yeah, I've, I haven't that put... There's a, bit, there's a little bit of sky there, isn't there? No, the, the, the wave underneath it, because it's turning downwards. This one? Be, yeah, no, there, a bit further, a bit down, down. That line below it. There? No, below there. the there. below the no. <laughs> right on the edge, but below the horizon. There. No, there. Down. The next wave. There. Yeah, the next there. one down. The next wave. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. It's because it's dipping down a bit, it makes the horizon especially now. I'll shut up. <laughs> Um, I haven't really touched that side yet. Uh, yeah, it's gone very dark now. What well, the sky has? The horizon. Uh, <laughs> <the> <laughs> I mean. oh, God. I sleep well alone. <laughs> oh, God. Um, the beauty of, yeah, well, our, my passing grace comment might be is if you want to <laughs> if you look when you stand back can you look at it there's nothing some white yeah mm -hmm. to bring to, to bring a bit more sparkle back in but it's not a five minute I'm just going to do it thing and especially over this right hand side that's dipping down so <laughs> we need to put some sparkle over the towards this to lift it back up that's it yeah yeah that's good like that yeah see what i mean a bit like <clears throat> that yeah makes all the difference it's a proper job isn't it proper job yeah. oh he's proper in there he's in yeah i know he's in there i seen him come out <laughs> Harry Harry Boyer used to say that. He used to come up to me when I was what eighteen, nineteen, eighteen he said here. Ever been up a ladder and down a well? What? <laughs> Ever been up a ladder and down a well? And then he'd come up and say I know he's in there. I've seen him come out. Or speaking, speaking strange anecdote sort of things. The beauty of using Chinese Chinese white to do that is that it will fade back. Mm. So it initially looks. Um, hang on, I'm just trying to find a little bit of dark, yucky colour. Just, there's a bit just there, Norny. 
the Isle of Wight, uh, the needles are up. There's a pencil line on it, and I could quite justifiably tweak a little bit there and there. And I might, I'll have a little play with that at my leisure. Might lift a bit off, might, there's too many maybes, but that's the way it is. In, and the same with these. waves at the front we can add a little um and then it's 48 hours or whatever if i i'll look at it as it's drying off and then i'll tweak it and then email it the image to the lady who took the picture as she was sailing out of the um the harbor well, yeah. well she they part there, so I'm just going to put a little. Hello, wash over the other way. Too insipid, too cold. So while it's damp, we'll just add some little bit of yellow to warm it up. The feature, please. Um, there's no, and why you're doing that? You, there's no, there's no reason why you couldn't. Do it on the crest of some of your waves. Add some. This is just like the in my palette. I've got that. Still got some of that yellow left from, from earlier. That's been there for weeks. On put some sparkle, a little bit of lemon or a bit of yellow here, here and there, where it's catches the waves, and that'll bring a little bit of extra green waves. But it's not easy to know when to stop that <laughs> but if you use lemon yellow be careful because that is a high staining color mm. so once it's on there it, it, it won't be so easy to lift off if you if you're not quite happy with it the painting was looking garbage but in the last five minutes it's now looking a lot cleaner. Mm. Well, I've got, well, it's a simple subject, and I did say it shouldn't take too long to do. Famous but I think I have I have flaffed, flaffed around with some different sort of techniques and that just to not really. I think I was showing off to Terry to show him what he was missing. It wider so yeah we'll go <laughs> thank with, you uh, well now I, I i wanted you to learn some something <laughs> and get inspired i've got a bogey in my, in my sky you need a, you need seagulls on it shut it we don't do seagulls <laughs> then seagulls are naff but if you what i just did i had a a mark on there Because I've got the under layer of white top, but you can see these little lines in the clouds. They thought they're really lovely. Mm. Um, and if you do get a hickey or something on there, because we've got those that little layer of it, it lifts off but leaves the other bit underneath. To be mm. quite frank with you, I think um, if inadvertently. Um, created a new way of painting watercolor skies, well, especially this type of sky where it's really. Um, I want it. You want it to be. What's the word? I don't know. Relaxed, ambient, um, summery. Remember, I started off. I said to you, "Look at it. It looks like Battle of Britain. It's World War. It was like those scenes you see where the planes were fighting, and you get all those trails." Well, I couldn't leave it like that. I think Still in this picture, the the water was more of the focus than the sky, wasn't it? So, am I froze? No. I can't see it from me. I'm going to have a look on the screen. But putting that extra layer of yellow on has 
um, warmed it up a bit and balanced it by putting some yellow in there as well. Yeah, looks nice. Yeah, well, Anne, Anne's always saying, I don't know how you do it. No, you yeah, make it so I, I do, I've been watching you, Dave. <laughs> I've got to remember two it now. Way through, you think, oh my god. Oh, it's doing its problem, not watching about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you get really optimistic and think, right, I'll just put a little line here and a line there, but it doesn't work for me. No. Well, that that thing about um that little thing about if you've got a piece of um mount board mm. works, um Something if you've got a crooked horizon, you could use a ruler, a, sh a big, and then just put a line on it with a watercolor pencil. Yeah. So don't make it soak and wet again. In which case, in which case it will go. Um, you know, it chances. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Share my other video. If 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 you put it draw a line and if it gets wet again be careful because it will spread go like that when it with the watercolor uh, the watercolor uh, pencil as soon as you make it wet it does tend to go <laughs> spread quite well yeah, Very nice. i love that way of Very doing good. the water i'm, I'm quite yeah it's lovely the thing is if you using a flat brush you can't you're never going to get a perfect sort of band of colour exactly the same going all the way across and then when it dries it sort of contracts a bit and you get lots of little um sort of indications i suppose it's sort of little hard and soft areas that you look at and if you look you can say that i can use that that would become a wave that house thing i would you know Grab it. I've spilt more water. I'm going to have to go on a diet. I keep knocking the table with the water on. <laughs> Are you on your telephone still? Or got... You gone to the other camera, have you? Yeah. Why are you shouting? <laughs> I'm one away from the uh, mic. No, I was just looking. Your um, your camera, your your telephone was a clearer picture. Same. He's gone deaf now. <laughs> We're not getting it. Yeah, it's still freezing. Are you sure we're not in old people tone? <laughs> <laughs> Am I freezing? Yeah, yeah you're still freezing. On you've changed cameras, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> but the other one's still on, isn't it? And you're still freezing. <laughs> Let me stop. That's really oh, the other camera for now, then. That camera's not connected now. Right. The phone isn't connected. Is so. it me again? No. 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 Oh, had you got both cameras running at the same time, Dave? No. You can't no. do that. No, I, I, there's an open somewhere. You can do it, but I. There's two things happening. It's going to a stack somewhere and then continuing. It's not truncated. It's just space oh. in between. And somehow it's catching the time frame up. Well, you're buffering now. Yeah. Well, the good thing. Well. Yeah, it's your end. I'm not. I'm not. But. <laughs> well. Oh dear! I think we have to call it a day. <laughs> when you're buffered, when you're buffered. Everybody else's pictures are still moving. You've got five videos continuous at the top, but yours is stuck. Is it still <laughs> stuck? Yeah. No, no. It's still sticking now. Oh, dear. There's a time delay on your machine. It's gone again. I'll check yeah. my internet speed. Yeah. It's not nothing to do with my machine. It's to do with the internet. My machine's fine. <laughs> Oh, is our in, my internet connection that's caused it do, do all the five pictures of us have to be processed by your computer 
My computer is fine. No, no, no. Yeah, it's I'm the looking, internet. Yeah, I'm looking at the handling. How much data are they trying to handle at the same time? <laughs> oh, the zoom on the television has exactly. They even their engineer. No, this is a this computer. This computer's got. Okay. okay. Anyway, I'm going to have to go now. Anyway, <laughs> my internet connection is unstable. <laughs> See you all next week. Bye, bye, yeah. bye Carol. Bye. 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 We'll Bye. get a, we'll get See a better you in internet. September. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look forward to that, Terry. <laughs> he's a, he's a cheeky one. Shall I sing you the song? Go on then. See you in September. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> we know it might as well rain into September. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's probably no, not. Don't want, yeah. that. don't want it raining. <laughs> Mm. We're not going to be here on Friday and Tuesday this week. Next week, I mean. Well, this week and next week. Yeah. We're yeah. in. Um, Are you away? Yeah. Yeah. Where are you going? Somewhere nice. We're going down to Devon. Oh, nice. Yeah, just for the bank holiday. Come back on the Tuesday. Of I keep forgetting it's bank holiday. Yeah. We are Every day is the same, isn't it, when you're retired? <laughs> yeah, it is. You're right. When you're in a home. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll have a good bank holiday anyway. Yeah, yeah thank you. you. Thank you, and hope you have a lovely I time. I didn't even know it was bank holiday until yeah. you said. I don't think it's going to be the beaches, but... Mm. Yeah, it's only when you said it was... Dave? Dave. Bank right holiday. I looked at the cal calendar and I thought, weird. No, yeah. Dave. Yeah. Have you heard from Mary at all? Not very often. No. Not very often. Okay. I can, I'll say, it now you've said that, I'll probably get a, a message. Yeah. About 3 a.m. <laughs> no, it's yeah. usually about between about 10 o'clock. Half nine, yeah. ten o'clock. Mm. Which I, um, I <laughs> Gordon or Nan? But I'm not usually know? around to. I I'm rang, usually um, watching Netflix. <laughs> I rang caravans for you, Barry. Oh yeah. About a fridge. I said I want to, you know, get going to get a new one. Mm -hmm. And um, he said that. They are absolutely chock a block with work, and he probably couldn't do it until August. Really? <laughs> so I said, Well, can I book you in now <laughs> for Kingston Moor if you can't get to me at home before then? <laughs> Good idea. So, um, anyway, I'm going to order it um, in a bit. And then, of course, it'll be just, so it's only three to five days to deliver. So I'm no. going to have a blooming great freezer. <laughs> well, not. But I'm not going to be able to do anything with it until they can yeah. install it. Yeah. It won't go through the caravan door. You say it's got, you've got to put it through the front window. Oh, right. right. So, that um, one, isn't it? Yeah. So I thought, well, at least if I get it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> then if they got a spare minute and then come and do it, they will. Yeah. Well, at least it spreads across that way as well. Well, yeah. Freezing. Yeah. Separate, yeah, yeah. Oh, well. I, might, I might have a caravan fridge, but it might just be in my hall and not in my caravan. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps with it in your awning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, uh, well done. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. I thought I'd bite the bullet and get it. It's, it's yeah. silly. So my, um, my shower will have to wait. <laughs> I keep putting things off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a shame. But no, I need the I need the fridge. Yeah. So, okay, dokes. Okay. Cheers, Chris. Well, I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Okay. 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 Bye, Bye. everybody. Bye. Have a lovely time. Bye. Yeah. yeah. Bye. 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 Good luck to your brother. Thank you. Bye, Gord. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Terry. Nice to see you. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> um, I think you've okay, done really then, well. Bye. Yeah. Uh, really well. No, that's Pauline. Yeah. <laughs>
Pauline. Yeah. You made it at last. It's, it's gone. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably forget how to do it next week. <laughs> well, you should make a note of it if you can remember right. what you did. Oh, um, yeah. My uh, memory's right. going. Yeah. I'm losing it. <laughs> well, we're all a bit like that. <laughs> yeah. Everybody. I, I think I got sunstroke the other day. Oh, dear. <laughs> in the back garden with the hot sun. Oh, all right. <laughs> You don't want to go. Right, I'm going to shoot off now. So, uh, now. well, I won't see you, Jordan, next week, and Anne, but uh, see you the week after. We look forward to it. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, see everybody else next week. Thanks very much, Dave. See you next week. Bye, Pauline. Bye. 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 See ya. Bye. 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 See you in September. Yep. Definitely. Oh, summer holiday, isn't it? Well, you asked me. Right, she's gone again. Tell him I said true. Thank you. I don't know. Something fell on the floor. The whole lot just collapsed. Ah. <laughs> you can see it over the background. It was all. Oh, well, it's all right. I'm going to go because you see my internet speed. Yeah, my internet sp speed, not very, not very good, was it? No, it's twenty-two, wasn't it? <laughs> Upload, oh, download forty. No, that's forty-four. Download. I'll have a chat with James. I'll have a chat with James when he gets up. That's better than mine. I, it, I said to Mel, yeah. I said to Mel last night that um, the internet was a bit, seems a bit, sl a bit slow. Well, what do you normally so get? It usually means, oh, a lot more than that. Um, is, um, it could be that he just needs to reboot. Hmm. The system, it does that sometimes, doesn't it? It needs rebooting to sort itself out. Yeah, I'm I'm running on stutters. I'm running on thirty three now. I was running on eight before. But mm. uh, anyway, I'm gonna well, leave it's the upload speed that that I want good. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go and have some lunch. I'm starving. Yeah. Well, done. Good job today. Well done. See All you right. next week. Yeah. Staggered. Hopefully. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.